Hey guys, it's Gina. Um, I feel like I look so black. It's the sunlight, man. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry. I always say I'm sorry for the fact that I haven't recorded in a while. Um, I'm like, sheesh, it's been like almost two months now. Um, try to record a couple of videos a few times, but um, it would either cut off because of no storage or I would cut it off because I'd be like I'm not feeling this I'm so tired um but yeah I was like you know what I've never recorded a video outside let me do that and I gotta get active so yeah I don't jog I don't run I got asthma I will run for five minutes and I'll pass out so I speed walk I'm not really speed walking right now because I'm recording this kind of slowing me down trying to multitask um but yeah, that's what I do. So, I got my active wear on. I already took my inhaler before I <laughs> before I came out here and got my girdle on. I've never put that on before. Um, but I keep hearing about how it's supposed to help with your stomach. So I was like, you know what, let me try this and see how this works out. So yeah. Um, so, there's something that's really been on my heart for a while now um, and it's something that God's been convicting me about personally um, in, in my walk that I should examine my own self about because you know I can't sit here and take a speck out of somebody else's eye and there's a log in my own eye you know what I mean it's so easy to examine other people um, and not examine yourself first um, it's really been a challenge um, with trying to be still in God, trying to be patient, not saying things out of your flesh that you want to say when you feel like saying it and using discretion as a woman of God. Um, and it's very challenging because nowadays, you know, it's like they want to hype us up for speaking up boldly and being feminist and we're on bad girls club and we're talking like dudes and we're fighting like dudes and there's no modesty there's no um pureness there's no holiness it's all sensuality sexuality and you know just speaking whatever you feel is necessary um and god has really been working on my heart with that and i tell you man that god really does answer prayers um and I see him changing me and I thank God. My birthday is next week, Wednesday. And I'm like, oh my Lord, like you have done so much in a year. I can't believe this. You've done so much in a year. I'm not even the same person. And you know, you're take, you, you've changed me from so much. And there's things that you are still changing me from and convicting me about. And thank you, Lord, because that is your doing, your grace. And it has nothing to do with me. Because on my own, I would have never gotten to this place. You know, and it's humbling. And I pray that it continually be humbling. Um, but yeah, so reason why I'm saying all of that too is because I see that we as young people, young adults, teens, um, are still conformed to the world and yet saying we have Christ. Um, it's very hard. There's a lot of temptation all around. You know, Jesus, you know, tells us that we should, we can't even have lustful thoughts if not we've committed adultery. And it's like there's sensuality everywhere. Me, I'm trying to buy modest dresses and I'm like, Lord, I can't even believe that I care about wearing modest dresses. Thank you, Jesus. And it's hard. It's hard. It's like even the dresses that flare up, they're like mid-thigh or something. I'm like, come on. You know, um, there's so many temptations all around. Um, these commercials, they, some of the cartoons, they're like completely inappropriate. And it's like, sex is everywhere. How can one flee from it if it's everywhere? It's like you can't even watch TV. You can't even go to the movies or something. You can't go to the mall. Um, we're called to be in the world, but not of the world. Um, you can't say, oh, I have Jesus. You know, I go to church. Oh, I talk to God all the time. But yet your life is still the same. Um, 
there's no renewal of mind. You're still talking and acting just like the rest of the world. Um, nowadays, you know, and the churches in America don't help because they have um, trended up the gospel. They really have. You know, it's all it's either about prosperity or they're ch doing the harm shake in the church. Um, you know, or they're cussing, you know, saying words out loud, cuss words out loud because that's how the kids talk. Um, and it's just completely appalling and a misinterpretation of when Paul says, you know, for w when I was with, with the Jews, I became a Jew. He would never... He would never sit here and, in order to please man, try to use his own methods and tactics and still be conformed to the world just to get them to come to Christ. We are not the Holy Spirit. We are only but humble servants of God, vessels by his grace. He doesn't need us. And there should be a willingness to go out and preach the gospel. This is not just preach the gospel, live the gospel in our lives. want anybody to pass by me it feels so weird because this is my first time recording with me being out or whatever and uh oops my headphones are in the way it feels weird for me i feel so awkward right now but yeah so um it's just crazy to me it's like you know if you read John 17, Jesus tells us the fact that, you know, I prayed that you, and he prays to God about this, about us. Wow. And he says, I pray that you would keep them in the world, but you know, that the enemy will not have their way, his way with them, that they not be of the world. It is not for us to do the Holy Spirit's work and try to think of self-seeking, um, fleshly desire tactics to make the gospel more appealing. I'm tired of, you know, the Rob Bells and the Rick Warrens and the Joe Osteens who is just, it's just God, Jesus, love, peace, and there's no rebuke, there's no repentance, there's no talk of sin. Everybody can get to Jesus, and it's totally not according to scripture. And we listen to these people, and there's no conviction, because we look at their lives, and we want what they want, so it's all right with us. And we have itching ears to hear what we want to hear, and it's terrible. And it's like, God, have mercy on us. You know, really. Basically what I'm saying is, is there a renewal of mind? Because in Christ, there is no darkness. There is no sin. Yes, we all fall short of the glory of God. But you will not sit there and use it as your ex excuse to still dwell in sin. You will not sit here and use it as your excuse to be comfortable in your sin. That you're only human and we're not perfect. But at the same time, in the word of God, it does say, be perfect for I am perfect. Be holy for I am holy set apart be set apart do not be conformed to the world but the renewal of your mind do we understand what all of that means do we even know it are you seeking the things of god are you desiring the things of god um are you being convicted of your sin because if you are truly a man or woman of god that holy spirit the spirit of god will be an all-consuming fire that can't be put out even in your dry season where you will still have that zeal, that um, steadfastness to pray to God, to seek his counsel above all else before you speak, to be still when God calls you to be still, to speak boldly when God calls you to speak boldly and in love. You will be growing in love. You will be growing in the word. You will be hungering the word of God. And none of that is really happening with the young generation right now and nobody's speaking up about it and if you speak up about it you know you're being too harsh you need to get with the program type of thing and there's just no conviction because it's hard enough heart and i'm tired i'm tired somebody has to say something um
Oh gosh, don't harass me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, seriously. Are you truly made over? Are you truly growing? It's not just about saying a prayer and that's it. Are you truly growing in God? Um, seeking his righteousness and kingdom first? Or are you still entertained by the things of this world? Um, with the celebrity gossip and everything like that. With um, going to the club and cussing and everything like that. Are you still desiring those things? Covetedness, shopping. Ooh, Lord help me. Um, are you being convicted? Are you really changing? I don't want to pat myself on the back because God, by his grace, has mercy on me and changed me from a lot of things. And yet I'm still struggling with some things and, you know, want to think that I'm better, I'm okay. Don't ever be comfortable and how long you've been walking in God. Don't ever be comfortable in the fact that, you know, God's changed you from so much. You should be continually desiring God. Um, are you born again? Are you growing rooted in God? What consumes your mind? Is it things of this world or is it things of God? Uh, I'm not saying in a legalistic way or anything like that because we're saved by grace. You know, are you desiring to honor God, to have his will done before your own will, um, before your fleshy desires? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah. So, that's what I would challenge you guys right now to think about and examine yourselves to scripture and examine your pastors and your church and your friends and the Holy Spirit will lead you to discern, will give you that wisdom um, of what God's will is for you. He is the truth and he will lead you into all truth. Um, to where you will truly be a man and one woman of God, continually repent, and bearing righteous fruit. <coughs> There'll be a bad tree, and we still call it good. A bad tree. And we still call it good, you know. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Call it for what it is. Yes, have mercy. Yes, have love. As God has love for us and mercy on us. But don't make excuses, please. Stand firm in the word of God. And all things will be added unto you. So yeah, uh, I can't think of what else to say right now. I already had recorded this before, but I feel like this was less distractions and more to the point. Um, if this video is a blessing to you, share it on your Facebook and Twitter. That's what God leads you to. I'm not gonna force you, be like, subscribe. But if you want to, if it's a blessing to you, um, share it with others if you feel like it'll help a family member friends on Facebook, Twitter, whatever the case is God bless you if you did watch God bless you all and I pray, you know that you grow in God and be of God uh, if you have any questions or need advice prayer requests, whatever the case is you know my email is down below in the description box and, you know, I pretty much check it daily, even though I'm spammed with job alerts and stuff. But, yeah. God bless you guys. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.